Thank you, Teresa. I'm not sure I'm very excited that you should mention one item in my resume, that tonight may not be the night to be cherishing too much, chairman of the Republican Party. But nonetheless, uh, it was the old Republican Party and maybe the future one. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> I am so pleased tonight to be with all of you once again and most of all to be here and share in honoring my dear friend, a fellow that I've come to be very close to and to work together with on many, many things, but who I respect so enormously, my dear friend Henry Cisneros. <laughs> Henry, Henry was the first Hispanic mayor of a city in the state of Texas in 1981. And I can remember being very, very excited as uh, just a working lawyer in Florida that a Hispanic had reached that opportunity in that moment. Had no idea the doors that it might open for others, but certainly all of us can see that as members of Naleo, having someone like Henry Cisnero who became a visible person in the, in, the, in the nation's conscience as a Hispanic elected official all through the 1980s became a prominent leader that we were all proud to call one of us, uno de los nuestros. And so then, as life moved on in 1993, he became the 10th Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President Bill Clinton, where he served until 1997. So the Edward Roybal Award is for outstanding spirit of commitment and uh, uh, the same commitment that our founder had to public service and to our nation. Uh, today, we are proud of the fact that Henry Cisneros uh, is, I guess with me, an elder statesman of our country where we do an awful lot of things to continue that legacy of service that he so, so well started and, and led. His leadership, Henry, we thank you for that. We thank you for your service to the Latino community of our nation, not just in Texas, but of our nation. Well, we all were very proud to see you rise and give us that pride of knowing that it can happen to all of us. Your legacy is similar to that of our Edward Roybal, who we honor tonight. Your life is one that embodies the hard work, the commitment, the innovation, and the passion of one of America's great public servants. Henry, I'm proud to be a part of the honoring group that tonight views you as one of the great ones, and I'm delighted that as a prior recipient of the Royal Award, of which I'm very proud, that we are honored to give you this award tonight. Congratulations. <laughs>